Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. It's a third video lecture on syllable. And uh, you know the source of this lecture is a very good book entitled A Course in Fanatics by Leda Fogg and Johnson. My name is Nehora Freedy and you're watching my YouTube channel Learning English with Freedy. In previous lectures, we discussed some issues and uh, we try to discuss and define syllable. Now, we're going to discuss the structure, the very simple structure of syllable taken from Wikipedia. Okay, dear friends, look at this structure, simple structure of syllable. We use this structure for simple words and uh, this structure is taken from Wikipedia. And parts of this structure are onset, nucleus, and coda. Onset means initial consonant or consonant cluster. Nucleus means wall, wall sound. And coda means final consonant or consonant cluster. Okay, we have two words to explain this structure. And these words are cat and sing. Okay, so cat, it's a consonant, so it's onset and a ah is a wall so it's nucleus and t is a consonant so it's coda okay same is the case with sing sing you can see s onset a nucleus and ng ng coda and a bit detailed structure of syllable, like syllable can be divided into two parts, onset and rhyme, and rhyme is further divided into two parts, nucleus and coda, okay? And uh, onset, onset means one consonant or consonant cluster, but no onset when a wall makes a syllable by itself, okay? So when a wall makes a syllable by itself, we don't need to have an onset, okay, for that syllable. And second point is rhyme, R-I-M-E and uh, R-H-Y-M-E, okay. It can be spelled with both ways, like it contains nucleus. Nucleus means wall and coda, okay. Coda means final consonant and consonant cluster. Okay, dear friends, a syllable can be of three types especially when we are talking about the consonant at the end and at the start of a syllable. The first one is simple syllable, like it follows a very simple structure, CV structure, okay, CV structure means consonant and wall, okay? And we use a, a simple syllable in Hawaiian language, okay? And uh, consider this word, Honolulu, Honolulu. So it follows, this word follows CV pattern, okay? Consonant and wall pattern. So it's simple syllable. Simple syllable means CV pattern. Second one is moderate syllable, okay? It means uh, uh, some languages, okay? They follow only what we call it a few consonants at coda position like they allow only a few consonants at coda position like uh, we have the example of uh, this type of syllable in Chinese language okay consider these word Beijing and uh, Shanghai Shanghai okay so only a few consonants at coda level Third type of syllable is complex syllable. Okay, complex syllable means when there are more than one consonant at onset and coda. Okay, like uh, we have more than one consonant at onset level and coda level. And uh, we find uh, complex syllable in English language. Okay, like consider these structures that we use 
and English language, CV pattern, CVC, CC, VCC, and uh, CC, VCC pattern. Okay. And when we are looking at the morphology of syllable, syllable can be of four types then. The first one is monosyllabic, means one syllable. Cat is the example. Second one is bisyllabic, means two syllables. Example is sick shun. Third one is trisyllabic, means three syllables. Example is position. And uh, last but not the least is polysyllabic, means four syllables. And the example is acquisition, acquisition. Okay, dear friends, it's time to discuss some prominent features of syllables. First point is vowel phonemes a, 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 and a don't occur finally in a syllable. Second point is doesn't occur finally and mm, doesn't occur initially in a syllable. Third point is only a, 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 and a occur before ng. And last point is wa and uh, ya don't occur finally in a syllable.